Let's talk about Surefor settings. In the display, there's five settings for gauge wheel load, and those settings are used for different planting conditions. Uh, a wet soil, or if I'm planting in the conditions that are too wet, we don't want a lot of gauge wheel load because gauge wheel load causes compaction, and when the soil's wet, it's very easy to cause uh, harmful compaction. When, when planting conditions are too dry, it takes more gauge wheel load than it normally would because we want to create a good trench. Creating a trench is a lot like building a sand castle. Uh, the drier the sand is, the more force it requires to, to form uh, that castle, or in this case, the trench. I'm going to demonstrate that right here. So right here, the soil is dry. I'm going to pull my finger through the soil, and that will simulate the opening disc going through the soil. And notice how the trench starts to collapse behind my finger. Uh, imagine if those were opening discs the seed is placed behind the bottom of the opening discs. So if that trench is collapsing, that seed is falling on top of dry soil that has collapsed in. I'm gonna have reduced depth, and that's gonna delay my emergence because all that dry soil around the seed as well. So in dry conditions, I want something heavier than default gauge wheel load. When we've got a fair amount of moisture in the soil, it's easy to create a good seed trench. So for example, when I pull up some of this and squeeze it, you see how it forms that ball? That's because we've got moisture, which also means that our SureForce system only is gonna need a setting of about medium, possibly light, when I've got ideal moisture. Perhaps the easiest way to see if I have enough gauge wheel load is just to stop the planter mid-pass in the field and look at the area between the gauge wheels and the closing wheels. So right here, you can see that the trench is collapsing. And this has two problems associated with it. When that soil is collapsing in uh, where that seed is placed, we're gonna have some shallow planted seeds and that dry soil from the surface is also falling in, which is gonna delay our emergence. Uh, so we've got potentially shallow planted seeds, uneven emergence, and that's because I do not have enough gauge wheel load. So right here, we've made a nice trench that we can see between the gauge wheels and the closing wheels. The trench is staying open, allowing that seed to get all the way to the bottom and our closing wheels are closing that trench from the bottom up, which is gonna keep moist soil around that seed. We're at the proper depth. This is the right condition to get nice, even emergence. So right here, you can see we've made a nice trench that's not collapsing. The seeds are making it all the way to the bottom of the trench, but we wanna make sure that we don't have too much gauge wheel load that's causing compaction. To check that, we just take a pocket knife, poke that into the side of the trench, and it should crumble. Uh, so that the fact that it's crumbling like that tells me that we don't have too much gauge wheel load uh, to cause damage and compaction, but we obviously have enough gauge wheel load to create a nice trench. To adjust the gauge wheel load from the InCommand 1200, right here at the planting screen, we're going to click this wrench. And right here where it says gauge wheel load, we have a menu that we can choose from. We're going to choose heavier settings for dry conditions. We're going to choose the lighter settings for wet conditions.